here are seven phrases that when you say to your partner it brings a very strong connection a very strong bond simple sentences simple words but they are very very powerful the impact you can't deny it proverbs 15 verse 4 the tongue that brings healing is a tree of life but a deceitful tongue crushes the spirit now the first phrase tell me more anytime someone speaks to you or you share something and they say please tell me more i want to hear that story that activates curiosity in that person they feel nice that you find their stories important and you value what they are saying that by itself will change things in your relationship proverbs 18 verse 15 wise men and women are always learning always listening for fresh insights you see the problem with most relationships is where you feel like you already know your partner you don't actually know them sharing about your vulnerability listen to this phrase sometimes i am struggling when this happens to me you see the fact that you can speak from the depth of your heart and speak from your point of weakness that by itself connects people that's why even if you meet a stranger and they share about their difficult past instantly you bond the bible says in second corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 now i take limitations in stride and with good cheer these limitations that cut me down to size abuse accidents opposition bad breaks i just let christ take over and so the weaker i get the stronger i become number three whenever you say something is bringing me joy ah, anytime you talk about the things that activate the juices in you anytime you say you know anytime i do this this activity brings me so much joy anytime i visit my parents anytime i speak to my friends anytime i go for movies with you anytime you hold my hand every partner wants to see their partner joyful the bible says in psalm 16 verse 8 i keep my eyes always on the lord with him at my right hand i will not be shaken therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices my body also will rest secure number four how do you want to feel this phrase is very interesting now if someone has an event a birthday party coming up or a special day that is coming up instead of asking them what do you want to do why don't you speak into the emotions on your birthday how do you want to feel my friend they will speak about things you've never thought about they'll say i want to feel like a baby they'll tell you things and you'll be shocked they will feel like you understand them because you are keen on the actual event because most people are not actually interested in things they are interested in the experience that those things give them so think about the hidden traits that's why you focus on the bible says in hebrews 13 verse 16 and do not forget to do good and to share with others for with such sacrifices god is pleased number five anytime you're in a conflict because conflicts are healthy in a relationship yeah arguments are healthy so anytime you're in a conflict if you use phrases like this i'm trying to understand you from your point of view now your partner feels like wow yes we're in an argument but you're able to cross over to my side and listen to why i'm arguing from this direction look at this one john 15 verse 13 greater love has no one than this to lay down one's love for one's friends number six when you ask your partner how can i show up for you this week ah you're flipping the coin now i know you're asking your partner how can i show up for you you know how it feels nice when your partner says they want to do things for you they want to make your life easier by that my friend this person will love you you know people always want to treat others based on how they think they should be treated but why don't you treat them based on how they like to be treated you'll be shocked bible says in romans 12 verse 10 love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other number seven this one is my favorite it meant so much to me when you did this for me ah this is a level of gratitude when you come to your partner and tell them there's something that you did and i'm so happy 
I am so glad. I want to say thank you because of what you did to me. People will always repeat those things that make them feel like they're actually being valued and being important. The Bible says in Romans 15 verse 2, Each of us should please our neighbors for their good, to build them up. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as in your fact you are doing these simple phrases will shock you they can change the direction of your relationship